So I bought United States Steel a month ago at about 21.8 and I sold covered calls against it. So I sold the January 4th expiry date, $22 strike price. Call option, I sold it for $1.25. So I bought it at 21.81, 100 shares. So that's a 21.80 investment for the stock itself. And then I sold the call option at $1.25. So that means I collected 125 times 100 shares minus $11 fees. $114 divided by a 2180 investment. That's 5% that I collected in one month. It expired last Friday, January 4th. Now, if I'm able to make that kind of return every month by selling covered calls or by selling call options, that of course is 62% yearly return. So of course, after I bought it at 21.8, the stock market drops and the price drops with it, of course and it reached all the way down to 17.27. Actually, 52 week low is 17.09. But luckily this week or even on Friday, the stock went up 10%. So closing Friday at 20.34. So getting close to my purchase price of 21.8. So what's good about that is my options expired on Friday and I get to sell some more next week. So now that, my, now that the market price is closer to the purchase price, I can sell covered calls again at a strike price that's closer to my purchase price and I'll make a decent return. So if I if I choose the same strike price, so right now it's trading at 20.34, but I bought it at 21.8. So let's say I choose a strike price that's higher than my purchase price. So I, I choose a $22 strike price. And the reason that I would wanna choose a strike price higher than my purchase price is in case my shares get sold automatically, at least I sell higher or slightly higher than what I bought it at. So if I take a $22, $22 strike price, it's trading at 78 cents right now. So let's say on Monday, it's it's trading at 70, 78 cents minus $11 fees divided by the 2180 investment. I'll be making a 3% return for the following month. That's if I choose a $22 strike price. So first month I made 5.2%, second month 3%. So that's an average of 4% per month. If I annualize it, that's 48% per year. But I could also choose a strike price, a smaller strike price, a strike, pli a strike price closer to the current market price. Let's say I take the 2150, which let's say is trading at 96 cents, as you can see here. So 96 minus 11 divided by a 2180 investment. That's 3.8% in one month. Let's say I take the $21 strike price, it'd be getting 116 so 116 minus 11 dollar fees divided by a 2180 investment that's 4.8 percent so that's closer to my 5.2 percent the first month so you get the point the closer i am to the market price if i choose a strike price that's closer to the current market price the higher the the call premium of course but the risk i have is i bought the stock at 21.8 so if i choose a strike price of 20.5 for example there's a chance that my shares get called away and then they'll be sold automatically at this at that strike price. So let's say I take the 20.5 strike price and I bought it at 21.8. So I'd be losing 1.3 per share. But remember, I gained 1.25 last month. So I could probably afford taking the risk of a smaller strike price because even if my shares do get sold at 20.5, I would break even because I already collected 1.25 last month. And then this month I'd collect another 1.39. So my profit would only be this month, which would be about a 5.8%. So if I want to be greedy and have a higher return for the next month of 5.8%, I could take a strike price that's close to my that's close to the current market price, get my 5.8%. And if my shares get sold automatically, I'll lose 1.3% but had, I had already collected 1.25 the previous month, so they will cancel each other out. So my first month's return will disappear, but I'll be left with a 5.8% in two months. So it's a risk I could take, or if not, if I, if, I don't want, if I want to make sure that my shares don't get called away, or if that they do get called away, at least I don't lose money, I should take a strike price of at least 21.50 or 22. But even if I do that, I'm still making a decent return per month. At $22, I'd be making a return of 3%. At $21.50, I'd be making a return of 3.8%.
So in both, so bo both cases would generate a decent return per month and annualized, of course, will be even greater, more than 40% if I can do it every month. While I wait, of course, for this stock to, to go up, maybe sell it or maybe keep it and just keep selling covered calls if I can. So let's say next month the tr stock is trading at $24, $25, then I'd be selling the call premium at $25. All right, so if you have, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're going to open an account with Questrade to trade on the stock market, use my referral code in the description below the video to get between $25 and $250 back, depending on your de deposit. And check out the links in the description below the video to help support the channel. Thanks for watching.